Hey there guys, today we have another Battle Beers, and um, this time I'm, I'm having a beer that I recently reviewed, the Terrapin Wake and Bake. I actually bought an extra bottle, and I realized that the first time I had it, probably should have had it next to another staple beer, Founders Breakfast, uh, both um, coffee beers, and uh, both relatively self-supple for some people, so, you know, why not get into these two beers? Actually, the um, Founders has chocolate in it too, but we'll see, uh, you know, if that, you know, we can tell the difference, if I can tell the difference between the two blinds. Um, yeah, these are actually, you know, s similar beers in ABV. Uh, one is 8.3 and the other one's 9, I believe, 9.4. They actually poured out quite similar with, like, the same color kind of, uh, a, a, a darkish kind of mocha brown head. Uh, users sometimes when it's blind, you can sort of tell the difference between the head, but, you know, this time, and I mix them up all the time and I can't even remember which one's which anyway, so it doesn't matter, but they actually poured out really similarly. So yeah, uh, let's uh, dig into these two beers. Um, it's a polar vortex here in New York and it really is cold, so nice time to just <laughs> stay in and drink some beers. So yeah, this is um, the first beer, don't know which one it is. Um, this one's, wow, very coffee forward, nice. Ah, uh, um... Yeah, it just, it's just smells of roast, uh, you know, going into a coffee shop that roasted, roasted coffee, or during, at the store where they have open um, areas of coffee, just that roasted, roasted flavor. I think I smell chocolate in this one, sort of like um, a dark chocolate, almost a bit of a uh, dark fruit hinted in there as well. Yeah, just like, you know, bitter, roasted, um, uh, bitter roasted coffee and just dark bitter uh, chocolate so yeah i can already tell this is the wake and bake the wake and bake i specifically remember just an aroma yeah the aroma yeah this one just has that sharp um uh, coffee again there's a difference between this roasted aroma that's uh, very much in this one this one has that fresh coffee aroma it literally Again, both are very familiar in the sense that, like, sometimes you smell rosy coffee, like, oh, wow, that's what it is. But this smells, like, super fresh and vibrant. There's almost, um, I'm trying to get at it. There's almost a richness about it. Yeah, there you go. A deep richness in roast. And it has this, like, um, it's, again, chocolate, too. But a chalky chocolate, maybe like it, it's something almost like a, a like um, a chocolate milk or a uh, a hot chocolate, and that kind of chocolate that it, it melds in with this vibrant, fresh pop of aroma, this fresh coffee aroma. This on the other hand is more mellow of a roasted co uh, roasted coffee aroma. It's more of a, 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 a like a bitterness that you're getting. Yeah, bitterness. So yeah, I think that's the difference between the two. This is fresh and vibrant and big and fresh. This one's more bitter, more dark. You know, when you have dark chocolate, it sort of just sits on the mouth and it's got that density of like bitterness and heaviness. So yeah, that's that's what I'm picking up in the world. So yeah, let's, uh, let's drink both. Mm. Tons of bitterness in the front, my God. Bitter, bitter, bitter. Then you roll into this coffee flavor. Um... Not getting too much chocolate, a bit light on the uh, on mouth feel. The the co the coffee again is sort of this just black espresso, bitter. Now I'm getting maybe a bit of the the coffee melting in oatmeal, maybe a bit of that flavor. Not too much sweetness. Again, very light body, almost watery, but that big punch of bitterness in the front, very very prominent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but easy drinking, alcohol's well hidden. Let's go on the other one. Mmm, this immediately, much more luscious mouthfeel. The, the, it's not as bitter. You you almost think this one has coffee, uh, chocolate in it, because it's more sticky. It's more round. Coffee is in the front, and it's more of a, a, a watery black coffee, almost like, you know, you go to an, a nice, um, or not too watery, but a nice um, uh, uh, cafe, and you get just iced coffee on, like, with ice, no, nothing else. Sort of that flavor instead of this, like, espresso bitterness. Luscious mouthfeel. You're getting chocolate. You're getting um, this, like, milk chocolate, almost this 
you know, uh, some dark chocolate too that's melting in with that, that, that bitterness of the coffee. Wonderful mouthfeel, quite luscious, it's nice. This one again just pops your palate. It's big bitterness, tons of coffee. Chocolate, I'm looking for, it's not, my issue is that you're, maybe it's the mouthfeel of this one that gives it this chocolatey flavor because it just is luscious and it almost like tastes like you're drinking hot cocoa. Yeah, it's like obviously, you know, with coffee and everything. This one just has a pop of like espresso because it, it pops, it, it hits you with espresso bitterness and you're not really looking for chocolate and your, 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 your taste buds don't really get chocolate because it doesn't, it's not familiar with that, you know, that, that luscious mouthfeel. Even biting into a very dark chocolate, you get this lusciousness that, that soaks around the mouth and you don't really taste that here. The sharp bitterness, the espresso. It's nice. I mean, it's it's a it's a very nice drinking beer. But I think this one's a clear winner. This one just has a warm feel to it, the luscious mouth feel, the coffee. It's more well put together. The the chocolate flavor is luscious in there. It's it's milk chocolate, slightly dark chocolate melted together. Again, hot cocoa, kind of like a dark hot cocoa kind of flavor to it. Really nice. So again, based on Roma, my prediction was this was the found uh, this was the founders, and this cup was the terrapin. So yeah, let's see if I'm right. Yep, absolutely right. I mean, it's not. I'm not surprised that I'm right because I literally just had this recently, and then this is uh, actually quite different on tap, I believe. And I believe on tap, it's just the, maybe the carbonation from it being on tap just gives this beer more of a, um, um, a silkiness. And on the mouthfeel, this one's just watery. It, it, compared to this one, it's not even a contest. I believe on mouthfeel that specifically on flavor um definitely i would say the, the wake and bake on aroma you know they're both fantastic they, they both have great characteristics yeah they both have great characteristics um it's very interesting each have, has their uh, nuances and subtleties in aroma but i would say again the wake and bake definitely beats the um the the breakfast out despite the beer appetite rating being them being quite different so yeah this is again is quite surprising. If I didn't have these two next to each other, I couldn't tell you which one I liked more. And so sorry for the long review, guys, but you know I'm glad that I found this out. Um, so hopefully next time I'll be seeking this out, and this might not be um, something I buy too much of. I already have three more bottles. So until next time, guys, cheers and try some more beers like this. This is super fun, and hope you really guys find out what you guys really like and uh, dig into your uh, true preferences. And um, yeah, I mean, objectively, I would say even the Wake and Bake is better. So preferably, uh, this is both objective and preference. So yeah, let's go. So later.